Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is a holistic approach to reversing adrenal fatigue. And uh, what we have available here in the front, we have stress surveys. And uh, if, there's, you, if, you have an ex, if you have a pen of your own, great. If you need to borrow someone, just wait for your neighbors to be done. These are stress surveys, which is a very easy way to check to see if you have any degree of adrenal fatigue. There's also brochures here up front. You're welcome to take one of each on uh, Dr. Wilson's uh, summary of his book on adrenal fatigue, as well as the adrenal fatigue quartet. Um, this is a very, very, very practical lecture. Uh, we're going to cover what adrenal fatigue is, what, where it comes from, and what to do about it. And you're going to walk away here with very, very practical, um, this brochures if you want to, there's very, very practical list of things you can do right away to get started. Need, everyone needs a pen. There's one up here. And another one. Great. There you go. Awesome. Uh, which is later on. So, uh, in s the summary of how to treat adrenal fatigue is testing, nutrition, and lifestyle. That's what it boils down to, a three-step process. Now, some of you may not know what the adrenals are, and that's, that's fine. Uh, and there's, there was even when Dr. Wilson, who is the author of this book, um, Adrenal Fatigue, uh, 21st Century Stress Syndrome, he was lecturing at, um, at a medical conference, and uh, a medical doctor yanked on his arm, uh, out of his coat, after he's done the lecture. It's a great lecture, doc, but the adrenals are located at the base of the brain. <laughs> now, and Dr. Wilson's comments, well, I guess we went to different medical schools, but what, what the, I actually know what the GP was talking about because when Dr. Wilson mentioned the adrenal medulla, which is the core of the adrenal glands, there's another piece of anatomy called the medulla, which is at the base of the brain. So if a medical doctor can get that bit mixed up, I think it's plenty all right if er people here don't know what the adrenal glands are and where they're located. So this is where we're going to start, is where they are. Now, if you just put your hands behind your back and feel the bottom of your ribs, and then you go towards your spine, and then come out maybe an inch or so, and you can press in on an angle away from the spine, and some of you, that may be a bit sore in that area. Okay, so that's approximately where the adrenal glands are, and if they're really sore to touch, that means they've hypertrophied, which means they've gotten larger in trying to adapt to stress. Sure, right at, the, right at the back of where the ribs end, and then you can go in right where the ribs end, and then go in and you feel toward right where the spine is, and then you just go back out towards the ribs about an inch or so, and then push in, and that can be pretty epically sore on some people, okay? And that's where the adrenal glands are. They sit on top of the kidneys. They are uh, pyramid-shaped... Uh, approximately shaped uh, glands. The, the, the left one, the right one looks a bit differently. That's simply because there's structures above the adrenal glands that differ from one side to the other, so they're compressed to make a little different. And what the adrenal glands are is that they're your body's survival mechanism organs, okay? What they do is that when you're under stress, the adrenal glands secrete a substance called cortisol, which is goes to all the cells and tissues of your body to help you adapt to stress. So for example, um, if you are walking through the bush and you see a flash of orange in the corner of your eye, automatically your eyes will target very quickly to that quick motion, that change in color, that, that change um, in motion, and even a change in light density, like there's a shadow that runs right across you, you'll target to it. Automatically your adrenal glands will fire cortisol to do what? to make sure you have emergency fuel to prioritize that fuel away from your organs of digestion into your arms and legs so you can run or fight for your life. The adrenal glands have nothing to do with necessarily long-term health. They are all about short-term survival. For example, you know, too much cortisol will shut down your immune system. Why does that make sense? Is a white blood cell gnawing on your leg, is a white blood cell gonna fend off a tiger gnawing on your leg? No. But that's why, the, uh, that's why cortisol kicks in to get you out of an emergency and shuts down all the other long-term processes in your body. Does that make sense? 
Okay, so that's what they're for. Now the problem is, is that today we don't have, we live in a very different world than our Paleolithic <laughs> hunter-gatherer ancestors lived in, where there was acute stress or there wasn't. You know, and right today we don't have tigers, but we have deadlines and loans and and uh, PTA meetings and and all like this. This constant, there's this constant. Um, perpetual tiger that's unseen but ever present. Does that make sense? So what what we're dealing with is chronic stress and the body makes no distinction between a deadline and a tiger. You, it stress is stress. 